Hey guys, in this video, we'll be taking a look at how to create text outline like this in WordPress with no additional plugins and just a simple line of code. Though this should work in any page builder, we we'll would be using Elementor for this demonstration. Getting started, let's add in a text and change the font size to a preferred choice. I'll go with Hebo and a font size of 76 pixels. Now let's assign a CSS class to this text by heading to advanced and let's make this text outline. Once that's done, Scroll down to custom CSS and let's add in our line of code into this field. I'll be leaving this in the description, so feel free to copy and follow along. Now, if you are using the free version of Elementor or most free page readers are that, you'll probably not see the option to add in a custom CSS. But since we've already assigned a CSS class to this text, you can go ahead to use your preferred CSS tool or plugin. By default, most teams have the customizer settings to add in a custom CSS. That will be under appearance, customize, and then additional CSS. Since I've got this page set as its home page, I can directly see the changes I'm making from the customizer settings. If that's not the case for you, you would probably want to open up that page in a new tab to see your changes. Now, the next thing we want to do is to add in our line of code. And we can either do this using the customizer settings or using Elementor Pro itself. So I just need to come up here and then paste that line of code into this field. And automatically we should see our line of text adding a little bit of stroke to it. And say for example, I made this too, we can see that increases a little bit. So let's make this one and this should work for the free users. So let's head back to Elementor Pro and I'm just gonna paste that into this field. And that takes us to the next step, which is making our text transparent. So I'm just gonna head back to style and for its text color, let's click on this and I'm just gonna make this transparent. So with that done, we can head back to the custom CSS tab and right here with the text stroke, we can define how much stroke we want in pixels as well as define its color. So say I wanted to make this text stroke two pixels, that should automatically reflect here. And the same goes if I chose to make this red. So that's it. Also, if you'd like to learn how to create this image scroll effect with a simple line of code, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.